Hello, it's Mike filling in for Michelle. It's Create Simply with Michelle, but it's with Mike today. I am going to do something that I used to do on. Do you want to come over? I just waved. I'm okay. here. I'm, she's I'm, working I'm the, the producer. She's working the <laughs> computer and all. So I will be talking after your project. I used to do Recycle with Michael, which I intend to bring back at some point. And what I'm going to do today, you want to hand me the, no, no, let me pick it up because it's going to. No, I'm going to grab the whole thing. I know how to do that. Fell apart on me. Hit you. you can find a lot of frames at flea markets that are in fairly decent shape. And I really love this whale transfer that we have. So what I did here was took the frame apart. I cleaned the glass. Stuff off of here. Oh shoot, the one thing I haven't done yet is move the sawtooth. Is that? move is move the sawtooth. Well you don't have to That's move it. I you did. can just put a new one on. I can put a you? new one on but and then just move the I like moving it because that works better. Put the glass thing over here. Do you want me to take that out of the way? I am not going to completely assemble. I must have. I must have been using this for something else because I did leave the sawtooth there because I put the two felt things down there. But I'm going to use it for something else. We're going to use it for this, and I can switch it around. Now, what I'm going to do so that I can center my whale, I'm going to be using the sperm whale which you might not be able to see the sperm whale here. And what I'm going to do is flip this over to give me a template. That way I don't have to worry about the transfer sticking to this because I'm not going to push it down on it, but I don't want to take a chance of losing it on the front of the mat. And possibly tearing part of the mat. If I do something to the part? if I do something to the back of the mat, it doesn't really matter because you're not going to see it anyway. So we're just going to. I'm going to fuzz. I'm going to be using the killer whale, the sperm whale, and the beluga whale. You may say it doesn't all fit on there. You're right. You read my mind. It doesn't all fit <laughs> on there. But it doesn't matter because I have more surfaces. So what we're going to do is make sure the mat is centered. I probably should have done this so the mat doesn't move on me as I'm trying to center the sperm whale in there. I'm not going to make any jokes about that. Thank you. This is a kid-friendly channel. <laughs> you can make your own joke. Oh, oh, Bob, and, Bob and his singing song of his people. It's either him or Winnie. It's Bob and I took Winnie's mouth away so he wouldn't walk around the house bellowing like a we're, we're, seal. Yeah, we're in the basement of our house and the cat, especially the one, this one, Bobbin, is so attached to Mike that he separ gets separation anxiety. Now I'm using Storm to give me a gray looking whale. Are sperm whales gray? I don't know and don't care. Okay. I thought maybe it was something you researched. I just thought the gray, I mean, if you wanted to be fun about the whole thing, you could do it in any color you wanted. I was just looking for a color that would mesh with the blue. I did paint the, the wood that I'm putting this on was also, you might call it trash picked or sidewalk shopped. Curb rescue. It's a Real thin, I meant to bring a piece in to show you, but it's a real thin, like a quarter inch plywood type. 
Is it just stuff that you would get like in the bottom of a drawer or? Yeah, but that, I don't think that's what it's from. No, but I just meant that kind of thickness. Somebody was building something and threw out what they weren't using and I appreciated that very much. I think I've got all the inside the netting. Here's our spur. It doesn't show up as much as I thought it did. I didn't want to do it in black because that's kind of a it shows up. normal color. Well, you always what you do is dry it and then do something like because black I am, on the I am edges. Gonna, I am going to, like I always say, if you matte seal something, it does make the color pop a little more. No, but what I was so. saying is because of the way you have it set up, you can get it lined up again. And if you just wanted to use your finger and go on the edge to, with the black and blend it a little bit. Yeah, if you want to get fancy and all that. I'm just trying to show people anybody can do this. If I can do it, you can do it. When I first saw the wood, I thought she had blue tape on it. That's because you're used to using your glowforge. Okay, and since this isn't going to go up against the glass, what I can do is show it to you put together. That should be dry enough. Now, if we wanted to get real fancy and tempt fate, what you could have done was put the whale on here and put sperm whale on the mat. Because I've seen that done with artwork. But this is a frame I picked up at a flea market for a couple of bucks. If that. The glass was in good condition. The frame was in good condition. And of course it's not cooperating going back in here. So I can show you real quick what it looks like. I'm just going to flip it over. But there you it's, go. It's that. Um, I know there's, there's tabs in there that are keeping me from getting it flat. But. That's the first project. And like I said, the gray, I, should probably, I was going to go with a lighter gray, and I thought, no, that's not going to show up as well. And it probably would have shown up better. Again, you could either do some white or some black around the edge. Yeah. So, that's And the one. frame is beachy looking, so that's nice. That's why too. I used that. It was a nice beachy looking frame. So, if with you the have white. a beach house or something, this would be cute. Or a beach themed room. I did have two frames. You could have done two of them, but the other one didn't have the mat, and I didn't notice that when I got them both, oh. that it did not have the mat. Now, what I'm going to do here, I think I'm going to have you wash that. Okay. Because I'm going to use it again. Yeah, I figured that. <laughs> you said you were doing two other. But what I'm going to use is too close to the wet since I'm going to use the two whales that are at opposite corners, it's a lot easier to do that than try and do all three at, at one time. But we're going to put this back. Now, this is a piece. I don't think I need the measuring tape here. I don't know. Oh, we got, I keep forgetting we can measure right on here. This is. 6 by 6 so it's a it's a piece of 1 by 6 it was a piece of scrap and what I did was painted it with black chalk paint and then I distressed it a little bit and just took a sander and you can use a sanding block even to kind of give it a frame on both sides we're going to use both sides of this because I can now, what did I do with the other transfer? The other transfer I'm going to use is this one. I forget what they call it here. Bird it's with called the fry. Bird, bird with a French fry. Bird with a French fry. Well, there's only one bird with a French fry and three other things. Well, they have to pick a name for something. But, yeah, <laughs> but this gives you, this is kind of beachy stuff too. Sorry for the so noise, I've, just trying to give this a quick dry. I've already cut these so that they can come off. This hasn't been used yet, so I'm going to fuzz it too, just to 
Now, I haven't waxed this or anything. This has been painted so long ago and it's been sanded. So it shouldn't peel any paint or I'm hoping this won't stick too much to it. I don't usually put them down really hard. Just by the but way, you, oh. you have to do it enough that it, you're not going to get any bleeds. But when you're using pieces of wood like this, it's good to go against the grain. If you go with the grain, you're more apt to get a bleed because you might have a low spot and it'll just spurt out. I just wanted to let people know that the transfer to Mike's using is 50% off. And we you are basically get four. Yeah, well, four that's what I'm things. going to say. We have transfer palooza going on, which is you buy three transfers and you get the fourth free, and you can keep doing that over and over again. The best way I find to do it is to buy all the same sizes because it's going to be the one that's equal or lesser value. So you can't buy a real big one and expect to get that one for free if you're buying three small ones. So it's whatever's going to be the, so if you wanted to go into our our sales section and get four of these uh they're called b size or the eight by ten transfer you can get that and and save the price of one transfer and also we have our new perks package or perks membership i should say uh that it's a monthly program that you sign up for it's twenty dollars a month and you get 20 monthly uh credits so and plus you get 30 percent off even if it's sale items and everything so say you spend a hundred dollars you get 30 percent off so that brings it down to 70 dollars then you have your 20 dollar product credit that brings it down to 50 dollars so, just giving you an idea how it works. Now, you're responsible for your tax and shipping. The credits don't go towards that. But it's just saving you so much. So, if you're an avid crafter and trying to keep things on a budget, definitely look into it and check out my page. If you have any questions, comment, perks, and I'll, I'll reach out to you. You know, little signs like these you can put around your house that have, some of them have funny sayings and sarcastic things like this and stuff. I've seen them in stores anywhere from 5 to $20, and they're usually hollowed out in the back, and you're just getting something on the front. This is solid wood from, I mean, if you go to a big box store, a lot of times they'll have um, damaged wood. If you buy that, you can get it so cheap that you could cut around, cut around the damaged part. Like you could get a one by six and get a whole lot of these blocks out of there and do away with the damaged part. And you're making signs like these basically for pennies. And like I said, it's solid wood. It's not the cheap hollowed out things that you see in stores and you can do both sides so what we're going to do is take the bird one these are cute for tier trays I have to put together my tier tray so we can display things especially with summer coming and all it would be cute and if you have fingernails it serves you better I don't I can move. Not by choice. I just subconsciously chew my nails. But <laughs> not not recommended. And when you do this, make sure you ha you didn't flip it over that it's upside down. So that <laughs> if if someone's on the other side, they can't read it. Yeah, you want to make sure you're still going upright because th this this will be freestanding. So if you set it on a desk or something, and you can see both sides, you don't want one to be upside down and the other one right side up. Or you could just put a tooth hanger on the back of it 
been hanging on a small portion of your wall. Well, Mike's also done the furniture tax on the side and had um, just do a hoarding. string. Yeah. yeah. There's all kinds of different looks you can have, like you know, the, getting the little white frame around it by getting rid of the black. I think that frames it a lot. I'm going to show you one that hasn't been done that way, and you can see the difference. I'm going to use the yellow. I think I'm done with. I don't know if I'm done with the white. Maybe I'm and I'm just there. leaving those there for right now. <clears throat> My voice is disappearing here for some reason. But here we're going to use, the, I used the white, bright white. This is sunny, sunny side. I figured because of the French fry, I'd do a one and done in yellow. You can see how that shows up on the black. Yellow can be a funny color. Um, I think it's fine on black, but when you do yellow on white, sometimes it gets lost. Yeah. This is a fairly light yellow. Yeah. It's not like our bumblebee. Which is a school bus yellow. Oh, Bob and Should be I quiet. let him down? No, he's paid into too much. He's banging on the door. <laughs> He's one of two cats that runs down here when he gets the chance, and he thinks he can do it now. And he gets upset when we keep him out, especially when we're down here. He does it when nobody's down here, but Did when you, we're down you here. you have the line through the... The French? Yeah. It's just whatever you have on top is what's going to show through the netting. Not the um, colored part, but the open part. And when you pull, pull from the middle, whoops, did the B, I guess the B is that small. There we go. That's okay. cute. I have a stuffed seagull with a french fry. We should uh, take a picture with it. we got it at the shore. Yeah. yeah. There's a, I forget the name of it. I have a hat that I got from the same, same little restaurant. It's always good to have stuff stashed around and transfers handy and all that. We've made up gifts, but if, if you know a person's personality or something like that, we've even done, I think we've mentioned before, we bought like a pack of four or five onesies for a baby shower. And you can use the smaller transfers to personalize different things for baby showers and things like that but then you have today will be a happier will be happier than a bird with a french fry and then on the other side sorry I don't take orders I barely take suggestions I might work in any workplace here's the other surface you can see the difference one's framed out one's not the reason this one isn't is because this is a remnant from as you can see it's rounded on the top this used to be the sidebar for a bed which I just cut into pieces and it's easy for making little signs like this or I have that nice finished edge that people like yeah and you just stand it up the rounded part on top gives it gives the top a finished look and when we sell these at our flea markets, and, or not flea markets, craft fairs, the rounded top ones sell faster, I think. <laughs> and we have a lot of the smaller transfers. We even have the minis. Is that upside down? That's upside down. down. I was just looking at the name. I was thinking I was doing the other one here. But you can't flip it around since you have the curved top. That was my only... In fact, what I think I'm going to do... I'm going to do two on here, since the nor wall will fit. I'm going to do the killer wall. And I'm not getting fancy, I'm just doing a one and done to make it easy. We're going to use the white, which we're almost out of. We're trying to stretch it. We're trying to find where we put our We stuff. know we have... At least we hope we have. A stash of ink. Paste. 
and paste in a box. I Fun. thought I had it out because we had done a quilt show and I thought I kept it out. We did, but then it got moved and re-moved. Yeah, yeah, we've had so much work done on the house. We kept moving everything around and things have been moved all over the place. So who knows where I could be at this point. But we no longer knock wood. I uh, have a leak in our bedroom. That seemed, the roof seems to be holding. Well, it's not the roof, it was the chimney. Well, it was the chimney, which is not quite done either one, but at least enough to keep the water from coming in, because we had rain after rain after rain on the roof. Do you need me to hold it down? Or just... No. Do I wash it? Or no. Is... I'm just going to use it again. Okay. I'll probably have to dry this. We're going to dry this. Killer whales are white and black. We just saw a video on TV of, a, of an orca taking out a great white. Isn't an orca a killer whale? Mm-hmm. And the size difference was incredible. <laughs> yeah, you don't realize the sharks can be huge. The killer whale was huge. And the shark was a big shark. It wasn't, yeah, like a, little it wasn't a small hammerhead or something like that. He was a great white. If you have kids who love ocean creatures, this is a great, oh yeah, a great transfer. Now, what I can do to make sure I don't smear it, smear it is put this on there. Well, the Norwell's not as small as I thought it was. Not going to fit? Let me do... Let me still stay in frame here. Let me add the Beluga down here. He's going opposite way, so it'll because be they're, interesting. Yeah, they're kind of on there the same way. One's going one way. It's almost like they're swimming in a circle here. I didn't think the Norwal was that long. But, but wouldn't these be cute on a shirt or a hat? Saying I'm having a whale of a time? Mm -hmm. Okay, we got those two on there. Are you using this again? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Do you need me to wash it? No. I think I can do what I did with the... I like the contrast between the way the illustrations were done. This one is a thinner line, mm -hmm. and so it's nice to have the contrast that they're not both a lot of white in there. Like the yin, it looks like the yin yang. <laughs> what we call happy accident. Yeah, make sure it's dry. Yeah, it's dry. I don't want to smear it. I know. And we'll flip that over. Do you need the backing or anything to? The Norwal is about the only thing that's going to fit on it. Oops. You can do them at an angle, going up or down or whatever. Well, we'll just do it across the tracks. You know, it doesn't have to be centered. And another thing you could do to get a little fancy, I meant to ask where our thick rope was. I know we have some thick rope around. But you could kind of glue it along the bottom. Oh, there it is right in front of my face. You 
if you, you wanted to give it a glue gun on or no? Yeah. If you wanted to give it a more nautical more nautical look. And I'll just stick a little Norwal on the back of here. They have their transfers made in two different places now. And one of them, like this one, is very thin. So sometimes it's hard to see. Yeah, it's sheer. Which is good when you're looking for placement. Yeah, but when you're trying not to get into another whale, <laughs> it's kind of hard to see the screen sometimes. Well, plus you're on a black background and it... And parting the parting the top of my head here while I get him on here. There we go. I got it. Now, are you going to be talking or? No. I mean, I'm just about finished, but... I'm just saying, because I can just get... You know, you can put that in the water. So we got the little more wall. And what you could do, if, if, if you want to get your kids involved, you could even glue seashells on here to give it a different look. But let me... Close this up I before think that it dries was a up. Thick for your this is a little thick for what I was thinking, but it'll give you an idea of if you just glued it and even went all the way around the bottom, it, it would just give you a different a, a different finish. look and, and a little bit of a finished look on the bottom. And it might even help it stand up <laughs> yeah. better. But well, this is go, this like, is an inch. This is an top? inch thick. Yeah, you could go. Well, no, I wouldn't do it on this. Yeah. If you had one that was flat on the mm -hmm. top, yeah, you could go up and around. But that's just three easy projects. Don't forget this one. These are double sided, as I showed you. And then you've got that. And the gray does show up. And we've been we've been on what time? Not even half an hour, and you got three projects done. And two of them are double sided, so and that's two are double sided. Five projects. Technically. You wanted to get fancy with this one, like Michelle said, you could go back into the transfer, and maybe go around the outline in black or, or white. Do a little highlights. Yeah, do whatever you wanted to you do. You could even decorate the frame. Yeah. I mean the mat. Yeah. You could even decorate the glass if you wanted to. Well, that's what. Well, that's what I meant because it's around the mat. Well, you yeah, could, I mean around the like mat. Like if yeah. you have something that looks like waves or yeah. see, like you said, seashells or whatever mm -hmm. that you wanted. So, so and like we said, these are double sided. So if they're sitting on a desk or a table or something Tear like that, tray. you got both sides. Mm -hmm. Great for that ocean enthusiast or beach person. For not a lot of money. Yeah. Recycle. Plus, transfer palooza. Buy three, get your fourth free. Mm -hmm. That's a good deal. Get into the perks membership. 30% off. Twenty, You get your $20 back in credit, product credit. $100 worth of goods you get for $50, not mm -hmm. counting tax and shipping. So... I don't know how long Transfer Palooza is going to last, um, so you don't want to wait. In fact, I need to get my order in because <laughs> I think I may be ordering white paste very soon. You can even get the ink and, and put that on um, a t-shirt. Right. The same with the other side. Mm -hmm. I love the idea of the whales on the t-shirt. Yeah, you can even put the whales on a t-shirt. I really like the whales, too. I mean, you could do the whole transfer. That's what I meant, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would just... Pick or, or like I said, if you have a hat that the front, you can do it. Yeah. Anything that can be heat set, you can use our ink on. And when they have sales on transfers, what we do is if we think one's going to be popular with the things that we sell, we'll buy Duplicate. multiples. Yeah. Like there's one that we have. I'm going to be doing some more. It says, if you love me, let me sleep. 
Mm -hmm. That was very popular for kids' nurseries and <laughs> things like that. So we bought several of those right. that and we the, still and, haven't used yet. And the dog and cat one, fur baby, we bought duplicate of that because yeah. that's uh, we haven't sold them yet because we haven't gone to a show. We have a good cat transfer that says, I hate you the least. Yeah, you know. that's a very popular <laughs> one. So it's, it's, and we do have dog things and um, we have other, and, and we'll be doing all different stuff and we're the with chalk we're going to be having more releases we do stuff like eight months get in the thing here we do releases like over eight seven times a year so it could be a very small release of five new transfers up to a very large release which might have 50 transfers and surfaces you know whatever the it, it varies so we had a, a decent release not that long ago in February, and we're going to be having one in April. So uh, we'll be showing all kinds of stuff. And, and if you see things that we make, and it's something that you say, I just want the project, reach out to us. We might part with it. Mm -hmm. So just let us know. Um, I hope you had fun. I hope you take advantage of the Perks program. At least check it out. Uh, Transfer Palooza, buy three, get the fourth one free, equal or lesser value. So be strategic as to what you buy. Mm -hmm. um, because if you buy a really big one for $24 and you buy a little one for $10, you're not going to get the twenty-four dollar one for free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going to, you're going to get the ten dollar one for free. I'm sorry, I. But I think most people recognize that. Mm -hmm. But now's the time to stock up. So I appreciate Mike for stepping in for me tonight. It wasn't like I wasn't feeling well, but I know he enjoys doing it. And my mind, I've been planning for other. Um, live so he said that he'd jump in and i appreciate him for that uh if you're catching this on a replay please type in hashtag replay i'd like to thank you for for watching this and if you had fun if you were interested in anything please pass this along please s-h-a-r-e because we apparently can't say that word because it messes stuff <laughs> up but um i'd messes appreciate it algorithm. yes i'm 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 one of the many who counts on Facebook to help build their business. Um, so, again, this is with Chalk Couture. I am an independent designer. Mike is not. not that's what he <laughs> likes saying. But he loves the products as much as I do. And it's a nice thing that we do together. And I did a live just uh, this past weekend with our nine-year-old granddaughter. So it's great for all ages as long as you can do this you can be this. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I hope you had fun and we appreciate you and have a great rest of your One of, of these days, evening. Chalk Couture is going to come out with a transfer that says so easy a man can do it. <laughs> you, you can put that second suggestion in, but I don't want to put it in <laughs> under my name. <laughs> we'll get there. Next time I see Brandy, I'll have to say, Mike mm -hmm. has a suggestion for you. <laughs> okay. Thanks again. Have a great night, everybody. See you later.